we are here on a Sunday again. I have a lot to say on Sunday because you know a lot, you say a lot. If you don't know a lot, you just stay quiet. I sometimes just sit and observe. And you learn so much by being quiet for that little time and just observe. I've been quiet for a long time. Observing for some 25, 30 years. And I see what they do. And we still go to the poll. And we still elect. And hoping to get the best of the little that we have. We're talking to the WTO. We're talking about all the meetings. And what we have in this country, I've always noted that. From the strong man... Cuban Ingram that was taught by Lyndon Pinden. Uh, what they did is said, keep them poor, dumb, stupid, and they would vote for you. Everybody, because I saying a little something now, oh Kai, we hope you're running because I wouldn't go to the poll if you're not running. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna run that lie by me three times. You already run that lie by me twice. And the people say twice bitten, twice shy. All the young people in this country want is two t-shirts, one sling across each shoulder, and two can lick in their hands. That's them for the next five years. I went in hoping that the young people would see my workmanship and my leadership skill through sports. Because nobody before me, nobody since I've done what I've done in sports out of my pocket and elsewhere. I could be braggadocious about that any day. Nay, that one. I'll be talking about WTO, World Trade Organization. And I want to send this to my member of parliament, Darren Henfield, because he seems to be close to our prime minister. Prime minister likes him. So maybe he could install and instill some knowledge into our prime minister head. You see, Dr. Minister, the World Trade Organization don't give a hell about the Bahamas, what they think, what they do. We, you, are the elected dictatorship because the Prime Minister has too much to say. And nobody want to go against him because they're afraid he is going to take that blue plate from them. But you imagine... And I could give you an example right now of WTO, Baker's Bay. Baker's Bay signed on the heads of agreement and they are not living up to nothing. They have not electrified no power, no occupancy certificate in 14 years. They have already built 150 homes. They are going to build 400, no occupancy certificate. Immigration is a joke. It's a rubber stamp in Abaco. Every foreign white that they want, they get through immigration. No question asked. Just ask Dr. Winston Marshall. He go to the Nassau with the pocketbook. Bang. It is signed, sealed, and delivered. Then, we have what's going on there with the ferry. We give the Prime Minister and the Minister responsible for the investment $25 million. That. It's a lot of cake. That turns a lot of blind eyes. But you remember, you, you imagine the WTO come here and anybody could work uh, a self-government. It's gone. We don't need election anymore because the World Trade Organization is going to govern us. All the stuff that we are privy to doesn't matter anymore. Our sovereignty is gone. Our bohemian way of living is gone. That is almost gone right now with the, uh, the Haitian situation. There's more of them than us now. So our bohemian way of thinking, living, is gone. The WTO bring their own foreign whites inside here and get everything and the bohemians take little. And it's so erotic that a government that gets elected so soon is doing nothing to improve the quality of life. They are killing themselves 
them and Sivago Lang back and forth, back and, back and forth. That is why Sivago Lang couldn't make it in Freeport. Because he didn't give a hell and he still don't give a hell about Grand Bahama. He just worrying about a paycheck and doesn't understand what he's going after. Sivago, what WTO work in Grand Bahama where there's nothing? Well, they'll bring something and ba Grand Bahama people will take less at home. And Reverend Timothy Stewart say any country that the foreigner is progressing more than its citizen, God is not pleased because God has strategically placed us in the Bahamas. Why should Jeff Jones of Baker's Bay give my prime minister's money? Why, why should Jeff Jones, the WTO master of Baker's Bay, decide how much money our black people take home. How could Jeff Jones decide who and what get what contract? WTO is in Baker's Bay 13 years now and it's not working. But the elected people don't care. Once they get theirs for five years, then let the PLP come and get theirs. That is what WTO is. It is some other government telling our government what to do, when to do it, who to let in, who not to let out, and we cannot say nothing because we sign on the dotted line because we think, as our Prime Minister knows that, the Member of Parliament, they think we are so big and so recognizable if we sign on to the WTO, we have power. But if we sign on to that, we have less than less power and our sovereignty is gone forever. But you know what? They will sign on to it. And during election, we will vote them out. But they're not listening to not a soul in the Bahamas because once they got elected, they got all the degrees, all the brains, all the know-how, and nobody or nothing can make a difference because they want to be a part of the world. When is our elected people want to be a part of this bohemian thing? When is our elected people want to become bohemian and do what is said to help the poor and struggling bohemians? They're more concerned about the world when the world don't give a hell about the Bahamas. A matter of fact, if you look on the world map, you don't even see neither dot in the Bahamas. That is how much they think about us. Nothing. But our leaders are quickly, swiftly trying to be a part of nothing. The World Trade Organization will do nothing for the Bahamas. It will bankrupt us more than we are today. And we will be a nation under the world. Not the Bahamas as a sovereign nation. Our sovereignty, our way of living, thinking is gone forever. Whenever they sign on to that, then we're going to elect another crew. But this crew have made up their mind that Jesus can't stop them from holding on to the WTO. And I'm going to send you a little clip that somebody sent me um, explaining what the Bahamas is interested in or Bahamas will become once our prime ministers and our members of parliament sign on to the WTO. There goes that bohemian life that we so love that is gone forever and it shall never come back. Kai care. That's why I'm saying no to WTO. From I heard it, it didn't make no sense because go and bake his bait. WTO being out there 13 years, ain't nothing the government could do over there. They don't say nothing, they do everything illegal and the government right here like a rubber stamp and allowing this to happen right under their nose. That, it is an example, Baker's Bay is an example of what's gonna happen when WTO comes to the Bahamas. Kai Kiss, you're here live on WCAY.